Right, hi, we are back. It's been about two and a bit weeks since we filmed the 15k challenge. Uh, I got horrendously unwell. Uh, still, I'm pretty ill, as you can hear in the voice. Um, it is Friday. I meant to put this out tonight. It's not going out tonight. I'm behind. Um, so, it's going to be out like Saturday, probably. It's Friday. We're doing late. Uh, just scraping the barrel for content, really. Just getting the video out because I have to. So, with Finn, he's all up in the hamstring coat. Um, just. Uh, it's going to be a shit video, it should be us train legs, so let's get after it. What was I going to say? Oh yeah. Yeah, so being ill as shit, like, ill to the point I couldn't even keep food down. So I ate about two meals across four days. I've dropped 10 pounds, got down to, I was like 241, got down to uh, about 230 at my lowest, and then I'm back up to about 235, 236 now. Still a little bit ill, but I've done antibiotics for 10 days um, and can keep food down now. Training is actually all right. The off season is now underway, so we start blasting. Um, so that'll take a few weeks to, to actually kick in yet. So we're still effectively on a natty cruise dose. Um, but yeah, just been in the shit. I took the full week off training, full week off food. It has been absolutely fucking horrendous, but we're finally back in a good spot getting to it. So feeling good, happy to actually be training again. All sciatica issues have subsided now, just because I've took so long off the gym and I've fixed the, I've just basically taken out the movements that aggravate it. So no more side back attack squats you'll see today. No more stiff legs, just all the other training that allows me to keep still training. Good sentence that, wasn't it? All right, I'm cold to start. As per every fucking leg day I've ever done. Uh, belting in with the seat belt just it helps keep the hips down. Locks in, better stability, better bracing, better connection, more reps, fucking just better, so. Get yourself a fat person seatbelt extender. Plus 20 on the stack. Yeah, buddy. Well, I said this would be a shit video, I fucking meant it. I'm literally just gonna film top sets of everything. Finn, I need my booster seat. <laughs> this machine's very fucked for changing the back seat, so it's a little roller coaster. With it. We just get the little booster seat in to change the uh, seating arrangement. Is that actually on me? It just looks like it's not even near me. Yeah, right, uh, top set, leg extension. Uh, six big ones, time to fucking fly. The old, the old knee break up, I call this. Lots of tension through the old patellas. Feels absolutely lovely. It does, it feels horrible. Can retail get angry or a plane taken off? Right, there is a speaker like right behind me, so you probably can't really hear me. Now you'll be able to hear me. Um, on to pendulum squat. I don't think you can see me. On to pendulum. Um, so I've taken out Cybex squat, uh, 
for this just because this actually has no pressure going through my spine whereas that obviously loads a lot of weight straight through my spine and it just was, was causing aggravation to the sciatica so back to pendulum um, probably go five and a half or six plates today see how I'm feeling I'll do two sets on here then one set on leg press for now baseline volume now the blast is underway we will start to up volume as recovery capabilities improve but with that other session where I've pushed volume slightly on the Tuesday leg day density day um, I don't want to push leg volume here as well too soon Just on the top set of pendulum, got five and a half weights for 12. Um, last week I did five weights for 10. So that's from 10 kilos up and two reps up. So that's fantastic. Um, very happy. I think training slides feel pretty good again. So like progression is just going to absolutely take off over the coming weeks, which is going to be great. Um, just need to kick the rest of this illness and then I'll be like fully back on it and happy because the last week and a half it's been mentally fucking low so I've not been training I've been doing this shit not been able to eat my food and anyone who knows that is regularly in routine and sort of relies on structure for their day to day when that's then not possible when your structure goes out the window everything else falls apart so it's been a pretty tough few weeks but sort of coming out the other side now another week or so and I'll be back to what I hope will be 100% um, but that's ticking in and stuff so everything starts to feel pretty good Uh, pendulum wrapped up, second set was a bit questionable, but you know, we moved. Um, eight plates, I sw sw swapped out the Cybex squat press for the Arsenal leg press. Um, this is a very heavy leg press. Uh, it's just like, it's not sticky, it's just slow, um, which isn't a bad thing, but yeah, so I swapped this in. Uh, I'll do one set on here, did seven plates last week, chucked eight plates on there this week. Probably a bit of an ambitious progression, but we'll see how it moves. So I've got one set here and then into glutes uh, for the glute work still, but yeah, so the things that have changed mainly are the two main movements in this session. So the squat and the leg press both have been rotated out uh, onto the pendulum and the arsenal. So very much looking forward to running these up. I want to get like 12 plates on here uh, eventually. It's just like, I've already done leg extension. I've already done pendulum squat. This is very quad dominant. My quads are fucked. You'll see the depth I get in the amount of knee flexion. So um, I make it as hard as possible, but it's, there's no, no ego involved. It's slow controlled incredibly you know, incredible amounts of infection just pure quads which is what i need so gotta get it done um i do put wraps on for this otherwise my knees would fucking explode and paint the ceiling so gonna go wrap up and then get this going lady gaga is on the tunes today fucking phenomenal stuff
Right, on to the worst exercise of the session, the, the booty builder hit thrust. So still doing my glute work, just because need shredded glutes uh, when I'm on stage, need them to be extra fucking shredded, so just need that sort of hard density, sort of dense muscle on my glutes for them to get like gnarly peeled. Uh, so I do two sets on here. Um, this boot build is the best hip thrust there is, in my opinion. It's on a cable, it's not plate loaded, so there is constant tension throughout, which is really nice. So at the top in the contraction, there's so much tension pulling through. There's also like a very nice pad, so it does not hurt. Uh, so big fan of the old, the old booty builder. Um, this leg day is going very well. Uh, I just did, I can't remember how many reps I got on leg press. I think it was 10. I think 10, so that was another plate up, that's progression. Uh, added half a plate to pendulum and two reps, so things are flying, very happy. I think I'm over the illness, just about minus my nose, still blocked, hence my thumb, dead nasally. Um, but yeah, strength, strength wise, absolutely fucking flying. Legs are pumped to shit. Um, obviously, not eating the right food for a week, dropping 10 pounds, I was disgustingly flat. Looked fatter because I was flat, looked smaller because I was flat, so I just looked fatter and smaller at the same time which is obviously a bit of a head fuck. I know the reasons why, but I still look in the mirror and get disgusted. Um, I'll put on screen a pose and reel from uh, Wednesday, today's Friday, so two days ago. Um, this is the, the current physique, uh, the fat boy chronicles, Gloria from uh, Madagascar learned how to pose. Um, yeah, so like, I can still pose, I'm just fat as fuck now, but it's about to get a whole lot fatter. Uh, well, I'll get back to 240 relatively soon. And then we're just gonna push food up and aggressively push up now. I wanna be like 260 realistically, so yeah. Gonna be an all-time heaviest by an absolute country mile, but I need to get so much bigger to be competitive in the pro ranks. Um, but yeah, getting locked in now heavily for the off-season, really sort of shutting things down. Foods are 100% on, cardio's on, training's now on. Mentally, I'm a lot better. Uh, mentally, I'm in a good spot, so it's really locking it down and treating this off-season like a prep for a show and that is how I'm going to make the progress I need to make. So yeah, going to get on with hip thrusts. I'm just going to film the top set on here like I have done. I've not filmed too much today, but it's more just show you the top sets, the, the meat and potatoes of the session, and then all the fluffy bits I'll leave out. Uh, and so I just try to get this video out for you, and then next week will be a bit of a better video. Any ideas for content you want, let me know. I think I'll probably do a day in the life at some point, uh, and maybe I can update it before day of eating uh, in two or three videos time when the... Uh, the food's been upped because it, right now it's still the same as it was when you last saw it. You also haven't seen much of Finn today just because our leg days are structured quite differently now. Just because we're each needing different things. Um, so Finn still hack squats and then does a different leg press to me. So the two main movements, he's just doing something else. Uh, and then right now when I go on to hip thrust, he's now doing uh, split squats because he needs a lot more quad. Uh, as opposed to glutes yet, so he's still doing the heavy basic stuff just to build that that foundation of muscularity. Um, so yeah, although we train together, you know, at the end of the day, we have two very different physiques. So our Tuesday sessions are very different and our leg days are very different. Uh, but Monday, Thursday and Saturday are pretty, pretty similar. I don't know if you can even see me here. Uh, done hip thrust. Fucking hell. Oh. Done hip thrust. This is very comfortable. Um, now on to the second part of hamstrings. I do this line prime super set with a standing Atlantis and just absolutely fry the hamstrings. And then it's a ductor and that is it for legs. So yeah, same sort of setup as always, but got one top side here and then we'll flick round and jump on the Atlantis and uh, show you that and the, the adductor and that is a session wrap. Probably won't go through poses today just because I look like shit. You'll already have seen how I look, I'll put it on screen so don't need to show you twice. 
But no, get back on it, so I feeling good. But videos will get better. This is just sort of a, I've literally been in bed for a week, not been able to film anything, so I'm trying to get something out at least. Because something's better than nothing. You may disagree, but if you do, shut up. No idea what you saw with hamstring curl, if it was any good, the angles or not. Um, but yeah, I've done that fucking. Now on to uh, Prime Adductor, world's heaviest adductor machine, world's best adductor machine as well. The only one you don't have to pin about three plates to. Um, so yeah, two sets and a drop set on here as baseline volume, what a surprise. I probably may up it to three, maybe four at some point, but. I'd probably likely leave it at three as a maximum on this day and introduce it on another session just to increase the frequency to increase the volume rather than just hammer myself at the end of the session because there's going to be diminishing return at this point if the very last exercise of a leg day if I just keep adding sets the quality of the sets will diminish so much that I'd be better off just putting it on another day when I'm a little bit fresher so the likelihood is that's what I'll do so yeah it's been a very good leg day. I don't know if it's translated to camera because I've been pretty useless at filming. But with it being sort of one of the first sessions back where I'm actually feeling like good and able to enjoy my training, the last thing I wanted to do was just spend the whole time worrying about angles and lighting and shit like that. So when you don't have a videographer following me around, it's fair difficult to have a quick, productive, enjoyable, fast-paced session and film to a good standard. It's just not possible, really. So. Bear with me, um, but uh, hopefully it's, it's good enough uh, and I will increase the quality uh, over the next few weeks, but no, it's been good. Plan right now, obviously, as I said, we've just started the off-season push-up, so food will start to climb fairly quickly. Uh, we'll taper up um, the blast as well and start to get on some, some weight and get, get strong and just start doing some fucking, some decent sets really, which will be good. Uh, and then looking at competing in 2025. I've already sort of got the itch again to prep, just because I miss the fucking structure and the regimen of nothing else matters in life except bodybuilding, which you get with prep. Um, but I've also sort of appreciated that right now I need size. That's what I need. I don't need to be shredded. I can get shredded, no problem. I need size. So I can have that same structure and that same regimen of nothing else matters except bodybuilding in the off-season because it's just down to me to apply it. Yes, in prep it's easy to apply because you've got the excuse, yes, I'm on prep, when you neglect other things. However, I'm at a point in my life where my career is bodybuilding. You know, client work probably thrives when I'm on a regimented structure. You know, I'd say on prep and, and when I'm really seriously structured and regimented, that's when my ability to push clients and motivate clients and get them going as well is during that period. So I think sort of locking in and getting structured for the off season will benefit that side of things. It'll benefit my bodybuilding. And then I'm at a point in my life where I'm like, well, I don't really have that much else going on. I'm very fortunate for that. So I don't have to worry about sort of anything because I live alone, bills are covered. <laughs> Literally all I do is just need to get up and, and bodybuilding. Perhaps the one thing that would suffer would be the, the social media side of things, which is the part I don't really enjoy. I enjoy it, but I don't enjoy getting the content. Um, the whole filming side of things is along, but I enjoy putting it out and having the sort of interactions with people, which is which is nice. So yeah, but enough waffle. Two two sets and a drop set on here. And then that is legs wrapped up for today. Get home, eat, 
and get on uh, with some work, some new stars, and get on editing this video so I can get this out hopefully tomorrow. Oh yeah, just, just looking at the, the old YouTube now. Uh, views are up, so thank you everyone who's watching and commenting and liking and stuff. I really do appreciate it. Um, not far off 5,000 subscribers, which is pretty cool. Uh, 5,000 subscribers special, 20k challenge. That is a joke. I still cannot look at a bowl of fucking Frosties without wanting to throw up. So, yeah, no more food for a little bit. Well, food, but just not calorie challenges because fuck me, that was disgusting. But I could do it a lot better, so we will do it better at some point. Um, but no, I appreciate all the uh, all the, the support recently. Thank you. It's been very nice. Hit 100k on Instagram as well, which is pretty pretty wild. Um, don't really understand it, but thank you, everyone. So yeah, that is that, that is legs. Uh, like I said, apologies for the short video. The next few will be longer. We'll get Finn back actually in the video rather than just sort of there as a, as a silent spotter. Um, got a few videos planned. We're gonna go on a trip back to Stockies, me, Max, if you remember the, the OG videos, me, Max and Finn, we'll go back to Stockies and uh, rip some weight off the floor. Um, wanna go to the shed when that opens as well. We're gonna do a two day trip down there. Plenty of footage of that. Uh, I need to get over to the modified Derby as well and train with them too at some point. So we've got, we've got ideas, but right now, just getting back into enjoying training and getting food back in a good spot. So next video will likely be a day in the life, which I'll film at some point over the next few days. Uh, any other content you want to see, please do DM at me or drop it below or whatever. Uh, probably DM at me. I'll probably see it back that way. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Ah, oh, Finn's back. There's my Finn say goodbye. See you later. This has been a fucking awful session. Oh, but well, I'm not even gonna ask why I don't care. So I'll see you in the next one.